welcome to the Dwarven Tavern. I am Lyric and I'm Josh. And we are going to be doing a review today. Uh, that is of the Vault Assault. I don't know if you have the cover or I do, but uh, we have it splayed out Vault Assault. Uh, from when we played it. Um, so this game is of Cops and Robbers, and it is a fast-paced dice game. That's as, as it is explained in the instructions. I say die game, but whatever. It uses dice to portray the fast-paced right. unpredictability of a yeah. vault assault or and, uh, a robber. Each part of the actual game case is for each player. If you're playing two to four, if you're playing with two people, you could use it. If you're playing with more, then obviously you can't use the case. You just need it for the rules. Yeah. But like the the top of the box is for the cops, and it kind of it gives them a breakdown of how the game starts what they need to do during the uh, second phase, you know, different things that they can do when rolling the dice. Yeah. So the bottom of the case is for the robbers, and it basically gives the same amount of instructions. So there are two parts to this game. Uh, there is the diamond heist and the, the vault assault. So each player starts out with doing a, uh, they have five dice. Well, not each player, but each team, depending on if there's multiple people. So players- There's more dice depending on how many other people are playing. With uh, just two people, they each player uses five dice a piece. Yeah. Uh, what they do is the cops will select a diamond on one of their dice, and then they will put that in order, one through five, and with uh, an alarm or a, die pack which is not this is on this one and what they have to do is they will line it up one to five vertical or horizontal the robber will do the same thing which we have wires that we have to clip and it says flip the die um i don't I, I, we didn't understand what that meant for a little while because you don't flip a die you roll a die um but basically you set it to a different marker on the quote unquote mosaic as they call it and uh, that is where you select the diamond to be and once the uh, robber has selected which wire to cut then the cop after having placed all the alarms and where the diamond is and where the die pack is uh, I would say uh, I choose number three and then he would tell me three is a die pack so for a die pack for, for any of the other cards the alarm is tr set and then we start the, the Vault Assault. Um, with the diamond, I get a diamond, as you see here, diamond tally. They're worth 400, oh, 400, 40. I wish, $40,000. <laughs> Set that aside. But the die pack, uh, you have a hostage mm -hmm. now in uh, cahoots with you. So that hostage cannot be released unless you get back up, which is gotten through the Vault Assault. When you do the Vault Assault, um, you roll until uh, you get certain things. There's steel, loot, hostage, backup, and escape. Um, you have to have a certain number of dice to get these things. For example, uh, if you want to loot the vault, you have to have four of the vault tokens in order to grab two of the vault tokens over here. And while the robbers are rolling, the police cops are rolling too. So they're rolling to get to go down each one of their stages as well. So for them, stage one is assembling a donut whether it's uh, the one piece, like a wild card piece that has the entire piece on it, it only counts as one. And the other ones are just pieces of it, like uh, cut in quarters. For the cop, you're gonna first uh, roll for a donut, and then you have to yell a donut flavor. For cops and robbers, they have to yell whatever action that they've rolled to complete it, that way you can kind of know what the other player's doing, you know, and, and where you're at in the game. Yeah. And stage two is to yell a street name, which is essentially saying dispatch is calling to say, say where the robbery's taking place. First at seven. Um, stage three is to roll for the uh, police officers on your dice, and that will surround the uh, culprits. And then stage four is the actual arrest stage, if you can make it that far, where you have to roll to arrest them. Uh, and you're rolling for the bars on the dice. And then you also have, uh, if you roll four die packs, there's extra stuff you can do aside from the normal stages. The die packs let you steal vault tokens from the robbers and add it to your uh, total score. Yeah. So, um, that is a lot of back and forth. It's very fast paced and it goes extremely 
smoothly once you've gotten it under control, but the rules were kind of convoluted and uh, yeah. they were very chunky. They didn't explain well, I should say, they didn't explain well how to actually play the game. It took us a, a little bit, probably longer than it should have to understand it because we're trying to interpret how they're writing their paragraph of rules and it's... I mean, technically all the information is there. Everything that you need to know is in this pamphlet. It's, um, it's, it's a booklet just, of eight pages. It's just um, deciphering it and figuring it out. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot. So the actual gameplay is very, very quick. It does do exactly what it promises and it is a very fast gameplay and it, it, it's a very, it's a fun game once you get past how to play it in the rules. Yeah. What you'll see here is you'll take all of your vault pieces, which is what the robbers are stealing from, um, and every player starts with three getaway cars, and they want to steal from the vault. They have to decide if they're going to uh, if they're going to put everything on one car, or if they're going to even it out. I always put it on one car <laughs> uh, because the police can yell bang start taking money from the cars and if they get arrested and they don't and, and if they don't get away properly then they don't get any of the money yeah. on their cars yeah. the cops get to keep it so it's really you know deciding how much do you want to load up on a car and then you need to get that car away and then you have to roll to get the other one away and roll to get the other one away and whenever the cops uh, arrest you they impound one of your cars so they take all the loot off of it and they impound one of the cars, and then that car cannot be that car cannot be played anymore for the game. Yep, it is out of commission, which means you only have. Uh, for me, I only have one getaway car by the end of the game because I was not fast enough to roll the escape. Which uh, for escaping, you have to roll the escape mosaic five times. You have to get them all on all five spots. So um, for each round, there are three rounds in total. The, uh, the cop starts with the round marker. The round marker has one and three on one side and two on the other so that you can flip it back and forth for when the rounds happen. The round marker stays with the cop that started the, the game. So he was the cop that started, and which means that he kept the round marker. Mm -hmm. For rounds, we switch parts. So for example, I was the robber for the first round and then I was the cop for the second round. Mm -hmm. And then I finalized it as a robber. So, um, I wouldn't say that you get more chance to, I don't know, I feel like there, there is, you know, a good chance that you can get an equal amount of opportunities at the vault. Right. Because the cop can steal your loot. But at the same time, I feel like, uh, I had two rounds as the robber and I won the game, so. And the robbers can also steal from the vault or they can steal from other players as well. Yeah. Um, so that gives them a little bit of an edge. Now with two people, it went really fast. Yeah. Um, I can imagine it's what up to four. Four yeah. people. I can imagine four people being really fun, but then really hectic. It could be really chaotic. So it, it's either uh, they play as teams, cops and robbers versus each other, uh, or if it's three people, they're all kind of rotating the cop between all of them. So it's kind of yeah. all for one thing instead of a team. Yeah. So, uh, that being said, uh, it was a really fun game once we got the rules down pat. Um, yeah. I won with $180,000 in my bank. The second, yes. <laughs> the, the, you know, the attempt that we finally got everything understood. I got the diamond finally. It took mm -hmm. me way too long to get that. So, during gameplay as well, the cops will be stealing from the vault, and the vault actually has special tiles. So, they have anywhere between 5, 10, 15, no, I'm sorry, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars that they can steal. Yeah. But they also have special tiles like this. Like this is a, a half a diamond. And if a player gets two of these, the player can steal a diamond card from another player if they have it. Yeah. They also have things like run around the table. Uh, you have to use your opposite hand to roll the die, which I got quite frequently. Um, die pack, which returns visible tile from the top of one of the cars back to the bank. And then you have to roll with your wrists together until the end of the turn. And then my favorite is not a special, but it is just simply a bad loot card and it is zero dollars. <laughs> you stole Monopoly money somehow. So um, with those, uh, they make the game a little more 
fun and challenging, especially if you were to play this with younger children. Yeah, and it's meant for uh, player ages 8 and up. There's a lot of little pieces, so anything smaller than that, you know, it could be... Dangerous. Dangerous and yeah. hectic. So, um, with that said, I would say this game is, it's pretty entertaining. It would be very fun for younger children. I personally don't see myself playing it again. It, uh, like, it has replay value, it just doesn't for me specifically, like, this isn't my type of game. Yeah, I mean, I would like to play it with two or, th with three or four people just to see what it's like. Yeah. But I don't want to play it again because I want to. <laughs> I just want to play it again out of curiosity. Yeah. The artwork is really cute because on the front it actually has the information of the game. For example, uh, 10 to 20 minutes is a sign, um, 8 and up is a sign, and players 2 to 4 is a sign on the actual. I think that was, that was yeah. clever. I would say a word of advice. If you're going to have a lot of little pieces like this and, and dice everywhere, put it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah. Because right now all of it. this... It comes just all thrown into the box. Yeah. Which works. But if you're dealing with younger <laughs> kids, you're going to want to keep everything, you know, together. Hey, if you're dealing with, with adult kids like us, then you're yeah. going to have our time keeping everything in check. So we may actually have to take the box closed if we uh, we do that. Right, quick. yeah. Exactly. But so I think it's, it's a fun game if you were to include children. It's very obviously made for kids. Um, it is fun. It does what it says it does after yeah. you decipher the rules a little bit. Um, but it it was fun. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. So I would say 3.5 axes. Um, I was thinking three and a half, but with not really being able to understand the rules and the way they're written, I got to give it a three. Okay. So um, that's uh, three axes for the Dwarven Tavern. Um, it is 10 to 20 minutes, eight player, or eight ages, oh my God, ages eight <laughs> and up, and two to four players. Uh, the game itself is done by Inside Up Games. Uh, you can check them out on their website, which will be linked below in the description. Um, you can tell us if we are... Stupid? Uh, no, not stupid. <laughs> we're, we're definitely educated in the game of review. But uh, tell us if you've played it and you have a different opinion. We'd love to hear it. And uh, if you have any other games that you may want to want us to check out, um, I don't know, send them our way and we'd love to look at them. But until then, uh, this has been the Dwarven Tavern reviewing uh, Vault Assault. Uh, and on behalf of the entire cast and crew, I am Lyric. And I'm Josh. And we wish for you to want for nothing but adventure. And at first I feared it, then I, I charged. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Let the 